Well, brethren, I stand before you now today as a testimony of the mercy of God. I'm reminded of Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. I can't adequately express how thankful I am to the Lord, how he orchestrated the birth of our newest daughter, Juliana. Even from the beginning, before she was, she was prayed for. Little Hannah was the first to pray for her. She asked the Lord to give her a new sibling, and the Lord heard her and gave her to us. So from the very beginning, this child has been wrapped around in prayer. And so it's fitting now at the conclusion and the beginning, all in the, the same moment, to give thanks publicly for this. It's been a great deliverance that the Lord has brought us through this. In the beginning, we prayed that the Lord would cause this child to thrive. Then when I found out I had gestational diabetes, we prayed that the Lord would protect her, that she would not be affected badly by this condition. And all throughout the pregnancy, she was healthy. Every time they did a test, she passed with flying colors. And then as the time grew closer for her to be born, we, we prayed all the more for her to be healthy, for her to be born in a way that was pleasing to God, and that the Lord would be with us and keep us, uh, not only health-wise, but in our minds as well, that we wouldn't be overcome with worry, that the Lord would show us what was, what was the right thing to do, that... Uh, the doctors always have their opinions on what should be done, but we got we follow the Lord. We don't we don't change our uh, actions based on what the world would have us to do. And so, with that in mind, we prayed that the Lord would show us what was right, and He did. There were a few things that we were concerned about with the diabetes. One being her lungs, that they would be ready, that they would work properly. Another being her, her liver, can not uh, be mature at birth sometimes, and they can get jaundice. And then the other is her, was her size. Was she, would she be small enough that um, I could have her naturally? And so these are specifically some of the things that we asked the Lord to do for us. That, that he would just work all these things out, and he did. Uh, I was able to control my diabetes throughout the whole pregnancy, and uh, as you can all see, she's perfectly healthy. And uh, this, this is not something I take for granted. Uh, with Hannah and Jacob, we, um, we passed through some hard trials in the beginning. And, and so we, we wanted... Uh, we, we asked the Lord to please deliver us this time around from having to go through uh, such a trial again. And he was merciful to us, and he didn't require us to go through uh, that kind of trial. Uh, another thing that we prayed for uh, was that she would not have to be delivered uh, with a C-section. Um, one of the things that I asked for specifically for this was I didn't want to be long away from my, my own, my children and my family. I didn't want to have to stop being a mother and being able to be with the brethren at the, on the, at the meetings and being a, just being able to get back to, uh, to serving the Lord and to serving my, you know, being a, a good mother and, and so, the Lord was merciful in that respect too, giving me a natural delivery. And we prayed that she would be healthy, and she was. Um, one, one of the things that uh, I didn't immediately think to ask for, but the Lord did give it to me, was I didn't have to stay long in the hospital. 
And I got, I had to stay even less time than I thought. I only had to be in there for 24 hours. But the la the very last thing that the Lord gave us um, just before she was born was that I didn't have to even worry about being induced. The, I just went into labor spontaneously uh, four and a half hours before I was due to be at the hospital. And uh, I, this was a situation that I didn't even know to pray about. Um, that morning, eight women came in in labor, and there are only 10 beds available in the unit. And so five minutes after we left the house to go to the hospital, they called us at our house and told us not to come. <laughs> so the Lord already knew that, that all about that, and, and he worked it out so that she would be born just when she was supposed to be. And so we, we were very grateful for that, we didn't have to wait any longer um, or risk, you know, not making it to the hospital in time. So, in, when I look back on all these requests that have been made known to God and all the requests that the brethren have uh, spoken on our behalf, I'm just filled with thanksgiving and uh, the specific nature of these prayer requests, how God answered them specifically. He didn't leave anything out. And he was, we were able to see it immediately. As the day unfolded, we were just able to see one thing after another that the Lord was doing and protecting us and, and even giving uh, my doctor the wisdom to know that I could have her and that this was this was how it was supposed to be and he he even told me after it was all done how how thankful he was um or how how happy he was that all of this worked out i don't know if he's a believer but um when i go in to see him the last time i'm going to share this testimony with him as well and uh so i i stand before you here as a testimony that the lord answered our prayers not only my prayers and Brother Jonathan's prayers, but all of our prayers. This was really something that um, we, we worked on together, and we prayed about this together, and that he granted mercy and kindness to be shown toward us. Um, and so, uh, and I do this publicly before you all, because I truly feel that as a body, that we all have a part in the children that are among us. Mm -hmm. And that as we, we raise these children, the Lord has given them to Brother Jonathan and myself, but he's also given them to all of us. Yeah. Um, we're, we're going to be uh, raising her up to know the Lord. Mm -hmm. And we greatly appreciate and we greatly desire for all of the brethren to have their influence on her as well. And with that in mind, um, at this time, we would like to uh, dedicate her to the Lord and um, ask that Brother Given would pray a blessing upon her. Uh, would you like us to bring her to you? Okay. Okay. 